Can you truly do what you love and get paid for it? So many people out there are doing what they have to do in order to pay their bills, their rent, the school fees for their children and so on, rather than doing what they truly love because they believe it's not possible. I was there once, I know exactly how it feels, therefore I can relate and I can also say that it is possible to have your cake and eat it. So in this episode number 121, I'm going to share with you three questions that I'm actually asking myself on a regular basis in order for me to move the needle closer and closer into towards the goals that I want to achieve within my business so that you can do so too. So stay tuned. <music> Hey, hey, Thierry here from ThierryGalexander.com. I help entrepreneurs, network marketers, and affiliate marketers create faster results online so that you can monetize your brand much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do create a new video training for you to enjoy to implement in your business, as well as a freebie that you can download for free so you, that you can create faster results and get closer to your desired outcome much faster. In this episode 121, I want to share with you three questions that I ask myself personally on a regular basis that help me to move the needle closer to the outcomes that I want and desired within my business. A lot of people are actually thinking that they don't make much money within their business because people are not booking often enough or don't, they're not buying products on a regular basis enough or even maybe purchasing but just very little amount uh, of goods which means very small amount order uh, type of baskets. The things that I would typically hear is yeah, a bridal is booking me for the wedding and then I've got to start the whole process over again and again. So always having to find a new client, no retention. That was me, by the way, as uh, a, a make, an active makeup artist at the time. I would have other things like people buy my art and go. So again, no retention. Or I can only provide acupuncture treatments when I'm physically able and capable because, you know, for example, the, the practitioner having an injury or even my clients purchase skincare only every three months. So, you know, in between there's no turnover. There's no revenue apart from every other three months. So they have to create, you know, a momentum with their business. That's typically the arguments or limiting beliefs, I would say even that people are coming up with on a regular basis for the reason why they're not making money within their business. On the other side, there's also the people that are still in a job and they aspire to be their own boss. They aspire to have a business of their own, yet they're not taking the leap because of the fear of losing, quote, their security. Having been myself in all those scenarios, I can totally relate to this and what I can assure you that this is, is that it is all in the mind and just a matter of making a decision. So let's dive into it together. As mentioned to you, I, I do ask myself on a regular basis three questions that are helping me to move the needle in my business and actually in many other areas of my life as well. It might sound so simple to you, yet asking explorative questions to thyself is a way of making the brain look for solutions. One of the very simple and basic questions that I ask myself is, how can I? Not, I can do this, no, uh, not, uh, I, I, I don't have that, or, but how can I? have this? How can I do this? How can I be that? Whatever it is, okay? Dot, 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 filling the blank. Asking this simple question might not give you an instant result, uh, an instant answer, yet it is a great starting point for you to be on the path of getting answers that are going to 
guide you in the right direction. The second question and remaining in the simplicity uh, of it all, which is also going to create to, to make you dig deeper into the process of finding your answers within yourself. That question that I use, the second question to, to go further is what else can I blank? What else can I do? What else can I create? What else can I be? And you filling the blank. So taking a piece of paper and a pen, being on your, you might freeze for a bit. Keeping on asking that question to yourself is definitely going to bring you some answers. And there's no right, there's no wrong answers. I would definitely encourage to, you know, um, brain dump everything on that piece of paper and then review what is going on at the end. So once again, what else can I do, create and be? What else can I blank? Is you can see the simplicity of it and maybe you might think it's stupid, yet this is, these are actually coaching questions that I ask my, my, my clients or my clients to be when we are on a discovery phase as well, just to see where they at, what is, to dig deeper into what is it that they truly want to, to create for themselves and materialize in this physical world. And as you know, each and every single week, I do create a new freebie of some sorts, a challenge, a PDF, a guide, um, something that can empower you, support you within your business. This week, because we're talking about making sure that you're on the right track with your business, asking yourself the right questions, it also is important to do the right launch or relaunch for your business. That might be a great time for you to do it if you're watching this video and and taking this this knowledge that I've shared with you today. Therefore, I put together this guide, which is my three easy step business launch. That's the most simplest launch I've, system that I've ever used. And it every single time that I've done it, it brought me more results, having people asking me for more information about my offers, my products, my, my, my opportunities or anything else, my coaching, my coaching services, you're going to love this three simple business launch guide that I've put together for you. Just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. Now the last, but far from being the least part of, of the process, the third question, and which is linked to the fact that I see so many people me included in the past, right? So not bashing on anyone. Yet so many people are not knowing who they are serving, what audience they are serving. This is a crucial part to know in your, in your business, to know who is it that you're speaking to? Who is it that you're helping with your solutions to their problems? Because when you know who you're serving, you can then craft a message that is speaking to them directly like you've known them forever. That's what they will feel when they are reading you, listening to you. So that question that I ask myself, even on a regular basis, again, you know, it's because sometimes the audience can change, is what audience do I want to serve? Not what audience do I serve, but what audience do I want to serve? And asking yourself this question on a regular basis, it might be a little bit of um, a, a mind game and emotion, emotional game because you want to serve everybody and you, you're so, you know that your products and your solutions uh, opportunity, whatever it, it is that you may have, can serve everyone, yet not everyone will be your customer and you don't want everyone as your customer. Believe me, you don't, because we don't fit emotionally wise and personality wise with everybody. So ask yourself, who is the audience that you want to serve? you? get to choose. You are in business. You get to choose who is it that you want to work with. So again, once you've clarified this step of who you want to serve, 
then you will clarify a lot of other things, the message, the relationship, where to find them, how to talk to them, what solution to put in front of them. So if you need some help to refine this, to work through this and finding out who is it that you want to serve, but you don't know actually how to do it, what type of question to ask yourself, etc., then you can refer to one of my old episodes, episode number 92, by going on thierryvalexander.com forward slash 92. So it's my website slash 92. I work by numbers in the episode, right? So it's easy for you to find them. Or you can go in the blog below this video and there's the link in the part of what we've just covered with who is it that you want to serve. In conclusion and in a nutshell, it all it is all about knowing what you want to do, how you want to do to do it, and who do you want to do it for and or with. Going back to those basics, those basic questions on a regular basis really helps to recenter and see if you're on the right path and just carrying on or make some adjustments as well. Now, I've mentioned earlier, my suggestion would be to take a little bit of time, perhaps half an hour, an hour, maybe a couple of hours, whatever it is, or a whole weekend, perhaps. You need to really focus on yourself and work and ask us, you know, those questions. You want to dig deeper with what else can I, can I do, be and have and create. Take a piece of paper and a pen, brain, brain dump everything that comes to mind and then you review that. You start from the first step. The only thing that you need to do is to take the first step and everything else is going to unfold. There's no wrong or right step. It's just a matter of starting. And remember, get your copy of the three simple step business launch guide below on, by clicking the, the yellow button. So that's going to be sent into your email box and help you launch or relaunch your business, as I've mentioned earlier. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, you can share it. You can comment within the chat section, letting me know your, your feedbacks. What is it that you, what is your biggest takeaway? And if you have any questions, feel free to jot them down as well or contact me privately. I'll be always happy to engage back with you. Question of the week. What other questions do you ask yourself to, un to get unstuck in whatever situation within your business? Share with me what are some other you know, mindsets, personal development questions that you are asking yourself to get yourself closer to what you want to achieve and to review where you're at and be productively making changes and figuring out what is it in your mind that is to be rewired. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. This is a wrap. Bye-bye-bye.